the pelvic floor tensioning exercise, you're walking your legs out wide as if you're trying to do the splits, okay? It doesn't need to be very far. The idea is you're gonna squeeze your legs in as if you're trying to, you know, jump yourself back in. You're just gonna hold, you're gonna squeeze in, uh, trying to pull your legs in. I've got my feet turned out. You can do it uh, wherever it feels comfortable, okay? So as long as you're getting some kind of feeling of tension straight down your adductors, muscles on the inside of your legs, that's good. Okay, from there, we're gonna add tension to the top and the bottom, both at the same time, okay? So first of all, you're going to try to squeeze your sphincter muscle. So that is, uh, imagine you need to use the toilet, uh, you start and then you wanna uh, cut off the flow is the nicest way I can put it, okay? So you're gonna squeeze that as tight as you possibly can. At the same time, you're gonna bring your head, hands, these your hands, up to your forehead, and you're going to press into your hands while performing vertical isocades, okay? So your eyes are gonna be jumping up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, okay? So uh, still squeezing in with legs, still squeezing in uh, with the sphincter, you're now pressing forwards with your head, your eyes are jumping up and down. You're now gonna do a long exhale. So you're gonna exhale for as long as you possibly can, um, or not even as long as you possibly can, as forcefully as you possibly can, so that all of the muscles around your trunk are gonna tense it, uh, go under tension, 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 and you're gonna just hold that position the entire time, okay? So it'll be here, squeeze in with the legs, squeeze the sphincter, press the head forwards, eyes up and down, and breathe out. 